If you think this robot looks a bit scary due to its human-like face, then you might want to get used to it. Because Japanese scientists from the University of Tokyo have created a scarier robot covered with living skin, crafted from human cells. They published their study in the journal Cell Reports Physical Science. This biohybrid material offers unique properties compared to traditional materials like silicone, providing new potential in the field of robotics and beyond. The process involves culturing human skin cells to form a sheet of living skin. This sheet is then wrapped around a robotic finger. The skin consists of two main layers, the epidermis, outer layer, and the dermis, inner layer. Epidermis provides a barrier and aesthetic appearance, offering a realistic texture and look. Dermis contains collagen and fibroblasts, which give the skin its flexibility and strength. One of the remarkable features of this living skin is its ability to heal itself. When a cut is made, the skin cells can regenerate and close the wound, similar to human skin. The living skin stretches and moves with the robot, enabling it to perform human-like facial expressions and gestures. This is a significant leap towards creating robots that can better interact with humans in a natural and empathetic manner. But what are its applications? This technology can revolutionize various fields, including medical training, by using realistic skin on medical dummies for more effective training. Prosthetics, advanced prosthetic limbs with realistic skin for a more natural look and feel. Human-robot interaction, creating more lifelike robots for roles in caregiving, hospitality, and customer service. While the technology is promising, there are challenges to overcome, such as long-term sustainability of the living skin and preventing infections. Future research aims to address these issues and expand the capabilities of biohybrid robots. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more exciting science updates.